Get ready for the smackdown. Get ready for the smackdown. How you gonna react when you put in your back now? Cause there's no turning back when you're facing the smackdown. Alright guys, uh, next fight come down, you saw this fight was uh, created by uh, Mighty Mal 1000, aka uh, formerly known as Young J-Way, he created this fight, he submitted this when he was still Young J-Way, but it's still his fight, so I'm still going to give it to him, and he puts the likes of two guys, one Richard Ryder, aka Nova, Versus Hal Jordan Green Lantern, uh, the former Green Lantern of Sector 2184. Uh, this was an interesting fight, and I, I said I'd do it for him. I mean, they are pretty much similar. I mean, everybody would go on and say, oh, you know, Nova's just the equivalent of the Green Lantern. You know, the Nova Corps is just like the equivalent of the Green Lantern Corps. But the way I look at it, both DC and Marvel copy off each other, so I ain't, I ain't really flying that way. But it's still a good fight. So let's start it off, shall we? So we're going to kick off with Richard Ryder. Richard Ryder uh, uh, appeared in his own, his own book called The Man Called Nova back in the early 70s or so, if I'm not mistaken. He was a teenager, gained these great powers, and he really flourished in the early days of Marvel, well, the 70s of Marvel, and then really became very popular, I say, to me, he became popular, I already knew who Nova was, I loved him, but I think his, 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 his spotlight really got big during the, his, his, his um, time in the story arc Annihilation, that's when it, he really got big, uh, and as the, Last of the Nova Corp at the time, um, he gained the entire power of the Nova Force. So he became the Nova Prime, pretty much. And he had the ultimate, he had ultimate power. He truly, truly became one of a kind. And he continued to stay that way until they later on when he uh, came back, they came back in his other series, he uh, pretty much they started to rebuild the Nova Corp, but still, he was still known as Nova Prime, Richard Ryder was, and Nova's been on many teams, of course, he's a founding member of the New Warriors, uh, he's been a, he's been an Avenger, um, for, for a while, as well as, hell, he was even a member of the, uh, S Secret Avengers when Steve, uh, made his team of Secret Avengers. Uh, Nova, pretty much everything you can think of about Nova is there. He's, uh, flight, speed, he's called the human rocket for a reason. Uh, strength, and he's able to absorb energy and shoot it back at you in photon rays or as well as in uh, pulse, pulse rays as well. Uh, I think the most badass thing that I remember seeing Nova did, and you can see it right there, you can see this picture right here, is when he just beat the hell out of Annihilus, uh, I think he got brown, major brownie points for all those people that didn't really like him, it was like, oh, he's just a Green Lantern wannabe, but to me, that's where he got brownie points, really. Uh, he has years of experience because of what he's gone through over the years, so you gotta give it up to Nova for that, but Unfortunately, um, Nova died in the story arc, the Thanos and Pervy, Pervious, uh, but from what Marvel is saying, he's going to be back next year, so that's good to hear, and pretty much that's all I, I'll say about uh, Nova, I mean everybody should know a lot about Nova, but he's still a great character, he's one of my favorites. So moving on, we're going to move on to a character that is was once at its highest, now is going to be at his 
down. Uh, Hal Jordan, once known as the Green Lantern of, as I said, Sector 2184. Uh, Hal was once known as the greatest Green Lantern ever. Uh, unfortunately, well, let's just say, you know, things have changed for Hal. But when he was at his highest, he was good. You know, Hal was... How was the man, you know? Uh, and as a Green Lantern, you know that you know the routine. Their their power comes from the will, the will of their ring, and you know anything they can see, they can create. So if How wanted to hit you with a, uh, hit you with the Titanic, he can make it. Or you know he wanted to create a, a giant sized mech robot, he can do it. Uh, it's all about their will. Um, and Hal definitely, definitely will still be amongst many people saying, you know, he's still one of my favorite Green Lanterns, even though he's not anymore. But he's he's a founding member of the J, J, the Justice League. He's good friends with, uh, with uh, Oliver Queen. You know, uh, Hal is one of a kind, and he's had his fair share of battles from Sinestro to the Manhunters to uh, uh, Atrostis and you know uh, Parallax and people like that. He's he's gone to hell. He was once the Spectre at one point. So you know he's had his fair share of great battles. So he has the experience as well, uh, in my opinion. But you know it's it's just sad to see him now. What's going to happen to him now? You know, that's that's the only thing now. Uh, but he, he's still amongst the great Green Lanterns, no matter what. Uh, but maybe now, in a way, with his absence, maybe the other Earthling Green Lanterns like Kyle, Guy, and John will get more stock while he's gone. But never being forgotten who he is. Uh, but Hal is just one of a kind. He he's great. You know he'll he'll always be up there. Uh, to me, is one of the great Green Lanterns. Uh, you know he did some of the things no other Green Lantern can do, and you can't take that away from him. Um, it's just that them damn Guardians don't see it that way. They see him as a threat, a danger, and to us. I don't get it. I don't think we can get that. That's why I say, you know, Guardians are bastards. They're just really blue-faced dickheads because, you know, Hal did it to protect, kill Krona to protect them. That's all. That's how I look at it. All right. So, in terms of a battle between this, my picture of this space battle. Let's have it out in space. One on one, face to face, man to man. It's the Nova Force against the power of the Green Lantern. When he was still Green Lantern, Let's, we're gonna say we're gonna picture that Hal still Green Lantern. None of the, whatever happened on War Green Lantern is is before this. Okay, just pick it like that. Uh, man, I I. The way I look at it is that, first of all, you got to look at it from how has to recharge his ring sometimes. So it's going to, and if Richard is coming at him at full force, you know, you got to take that into mind. But the way I look at it, it's going to come down to who's going to make the first mistake. Who's going to capitalize on that mistake. And I don't see these two guys killing each other. That's one thing I don't see. But I do see these guys, no matter what happens, they have... A great ounce of respect for each other. That's the way I look at it. Uh, I can see Richard saying, "Hey, you're, you're good," you know, and Hal saying the same thing. Likewise, you know, let's let's. Uh, I can even see, hear them saying, "Like, you know what? Let's go back to Earth. I, I know this great place where we can dine." You know, something like that. But who wins, guys? Richard Ryder or Hal Jordan? Other than that, show some respect and give some love to Mighty Mal 
And this is Mom Vernon Kiss saying peace, one love. Stay tuned, guys. Keep it real. And as always, battle on.